And now, America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki C. and Cerullo. Bring back memories or what? Yeah, like back in Alaska. Woo! <laughs> hey, this week on the Archer's Choice, we're going back to Alaska with Pioneer Outfitters for our doll sheep hunt. That's right, and you know, let, let's not kid ourselves. This is our really our first time ever sheep hunting. It is a totally, totally different style of hunting. I get, now give sheep hunters a new earned respect. Well, you know, you talk to a lot of people and they say, well, you know, a good sheep guide, he's pretty much done by his mid-30s. Oh, yeah. And after one sheep hunt up in Alaska. I'm done. I could, nah, <laughs> come on. I, I can understand why. I mean, your knees, your hips, your elbows, every, if, if you ain't bleeding, you know, they're, they're just shaking and trembling. If, if, if you're not shaking and trembling or bleeding, there's something wrong and you weren't hunting. And I'll tell you what. You know, for, for two flatlanders to go up to Alaska and, and, and try our luck for doll sheep, Terry Overly and his guides and everybody, I, wow, I can't say enough about the experience, the hunt, and we, we just can't wait to share this with you. Okay. If you remember last week's show with Vicki, we got so close, you know, to stalking and her getting a shot at a grizzly, a mountain grizzly on top of that, but... Well, as luck would have it, you know how that goes. It's on 50. Oh, 50 right now. Which one? Either. Not gonna happen. Unbelievable. And Vicky. You, you know, we were in the grizzly all week long, you know, the whole, or the entire hunt, but, well, as luck would have it, sometimes you get them, sometimes you go. That's why they call it hunting. Now, let's get back to this week's show when Vic and I are hunting doll sheep. You know, I've been, I've been hunting and guiding here in this country since the very early 60s. And most of the time when the interior have very clean, good, clear weather. Coastal weather sometimes can be pretty testy. Usually on the interior, we have a lot of sunshine and nice days. And we pretty well count on that. You know, we tell that to our clients and our hunters. But at times, there are just conditions that occur that we just can't control. It's just impossible. You can't predict the unpredictable. You can't control the uncontrollable and such as this that we're into today. And we may have conditions like this only three or four times during the entire hunting season, and sometimes we'll have conditions like this more often than that. You just have to be patient. When you come to the North Country, you come to Alaska, you're in the interior, you're hunting in very remote places where aircraft use is necessary, and even horses sometimes throw a little wrinkle in your, in your, in your get along. And you just have to be patient. And that's about the best advice I could give anyone coming to Alaska or coming anywhere in the North Country to go hunting is give your country, give your game, give your outfitter the opportunity for dealing with the conditions that we just can't control and just be patient. Welcome back. Now let's keep on hunting those doll sheep. Well, Brian stopped us. We've been riding for a few more hours today. It's still the first day of the hunt here at Pioneer Outfitters. And I've got to tell you something. We've seen 15, 16, 19, 20, 20, 20. Uh, Right now, we're probably looking at about 27 to 30 sheep that we've seen so far. And the first day is not over. He's chewing his cud. Now I ask you something. A hunt of a lifetime, 
you got probably one the biggest ram you'll ever take. <laughs> hmm. Do we break the rifle out of the scabbard? Don't think so. Well, Ryan, we're actually going to try <laughs> an Alaska doll sheep drive. It's going to take us a few hours. We're going to try to see if we can go up that pass up on the other side, come up above those two rams, and then what's going to happen is Amber and Scott are slowly going to start working the shale slide up, and we're hoping that he's going to come, both of those rams are going to shoot and then try to come up to their what they're normally what the guys were saying is normally their vantage point to go to a higher point we don't know if it's going to work but that's why they call it hunting oh my god it's far away oh my god and it's high do you have that oxygen tank oh no that's it buddy brian you spotted those two rams up and over they fed right over through that little notch right there. So hopefully we'll get a little lower range. You gotta climb up this, huh? Yep. Oh. Like machines. Like machines. Okay, Arnold. Want me to tell everybody that, well, I ain't cut out for this. We gotta do this every day? No, nah, we gotta do this again. That Thompson Center is coming out. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. <laughs> and I'm telling y'all that I just ain't good enough to do this. Not with a bow. Son of a gun. Signal to Brian, Vicky, and I, and Scott down there, Amber and Scott. That the sheep went the other way. What are you going to do? I'll tell you one thing. This is my first sheep hunt, and I just might become a gun hunter. These little ravines that the sheep are looking down on just possibly might get away with the movement. Where in the white, they might think it's just more sheep than going around. We are the lollipop kids. We are the lollipop kids. Yeah. So we saw ten rams, one pot, one legal for sure, one right on the border. Well, it's winding down, and it's time to bring out the weapon that can reach out and touch something. The only problem is, is before we get out there to reach out and touch him. We gotta go up here. Ryan, Amber, and Scotty, we've been watching these rams for, well, better than a week, huh? Mm -hmm. We tried with archery equipment, and maybe we just ain't good enough. We, not these guys, us, but we just, uh, we got a long hike, and a short time to get there. Oh, I wish that would You know, learning a lot about the sheep hunting one of the things you need someone experienced because 
you need to figure out which way to go, which way you can make it. We've been climbing for about two hours. We've got a lot more to go. This is not a fake camera angle. This is how steep we're standing right now. Earlier today, we had two grizzlies down here. Vicky and Amber almost got on them, but we're getting there. I'm Terry Overly of Piner Outfitters, and we'll be right back with more hunting in Alaska. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now let's continue on climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing and... <laughs> Which one is he? The left still. I think you did get him. I think you got him. Okay, still on the left, Ralph. Go ahead and put another one in him. Yeah, you hit him. He's done. He's done. There he goes. Here comes the other one. Look at this. He's going, he's going, he's going. Oh. I'm going to tell you something. Hey Vicky, you can get this other one. Vicky, come here. Vicky. Go ahead, go on, go on, go on, go on. It's all right. It's in there. There's, there's another bullet in there. Got him, Vic? You got him, buddy! We did We've been climbing since 4 o'clock, 4 4.30. Yeah. They moved the first bed. We put the bows away. We took out the PC. 
We finally found him. We've been hunting these rams for, heck, what is it, five, six days now? Yes. We've been seeing them. We just can never get on them. And, oh my God. We just shot doubles. We, we just, Ralph and I just shot doubles with our TC. I've never shot a TC. I've never, <laughs> I've never shot an animal with a rifle. That's my first rifle. What an animal. I just shot a animal. doll sheep with a rifle. <laughs> I've you never done hard that. for it. Oh, yeah, now you should see that. You get them down? They're, they'll meet us down there, honey. That one? The one I shot? Did he roll? <gasps> I think that's what Brian and Scott are I could watching see. for. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <sighs> Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Oh boy, I tell Ooh. you what, that was some climbing, but we did it. We did it. We Unbelievable. Did it. Yeah. We may not have done it with our Hoyts. No. And some of you might be saying, you guys cheated. But it was a hunt of a lifetime. Oh. And I mean, we held out 10 days. 10 days. You know, Let me tell you something. I know this is Archer's Choice, and Vicky and I are bow hunters. But we were invited on this hunt from Pioneer Outfitters, Terry Overly. And Russ and George from Bullseye Outfitters helped us put all this together. And I got to tell you something. We hunted hard. We truly tried to do it with our Hoyts. It was just, maybe we are just not good enough sheep hunters to do it with a bow. It's our first hunt together, Vicki and I, in Alaska. And in a matter of, I mean, folks, I, I can't even tell you. Um, in a matter of two minutes, Vicky and I shot two Beautiful. unbelievable, gorgeous doll sheep. And I don't care, we've always said it before, we'd be hypocrites if we didn't say it now. We don't care with what you hunt. As long as we're sportsmen and women, we all need to stick together. And yes, I don't even have my camel on. You, you know, you may think, well, yeah, they used a gun and everything else. This was a trip of a lifetime for us. And for someone who may not think we did the right thing, well, you can judge us the way you want, folks. That was your own doll sheep hunt. <laughs> I, I just, honey, to share it with you, man. It's the day after our double whammy up there. Ralph and I, we shot our sheep last afternoon last night almost it was getting dark by the time we got Evening. down and um, our sheep are way up there and there was no way from the ridge we were on to get those sheep at those sheep before dark no. I and mean, there was no way for us to do it so now we're sitting here feeling very guilty not really okay well <laughs> it, it was a rough hike up a rough slide down and we've got brian and scotty and spencer and wade climbing up there to try getting our sheep. We especially want to thank Terry Overly of Pioneer Outfitters, his excellent guides, and Bullseye Outfitters for really putting this all together for us. But folks, you got to understand something. If you're looking for the most wildest adventure here in Alaska, and you want the true Alaska, please, at the end of this show, check out Pioneer Outfitters. Because while we're sitting here talking here, we've got two grizzlies right down there. This place is awesome. High five me. That was just an adventure of our lifetimes. You know, I, we can only hope that what we tried to share with you these last two weeks does that trip justice yeah there's so because many times that we're on horses or or whatever the situation is that for some reason the camera's not running or whatever so much of it i mean i truly believe we got a lot of it on film but yeah. but again you only have two half hour shows to put it together and, right. and so we're trying to cram in you know 11 12 days of hunting in two weeks in, two, in one hour sorry two and half hour shows incredible i mean it just you know, we can't thank Terry Overly enough, enough. And I mean, to sit at a campfire and to be there with what they, you know, like Terry, they, they call him the youngest old timer in Alaska. I mean, but it just, you know, we just hope again that we, that we, we did it, that, that we, we captured you and showed you what, what we witnessed in, in, by ourselves. And we want to thank you 
for sharing this incredible two weeks up in Alaska with us. Well, we also want to thank George and Russ from Bullseye Outfitters for helping us put the whole trip together. Absolutely. So remember, come back here next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.